Hey everyone! So today we're working on a 10 by 20 canvas. We're gonna do a dirty ribbon pour. Um, I'm gonna try to keep a little bit of it linear. So we're going this way with maybe a couple of swoops through. I'm going to be using three seven ounce cups. I'll probably get about five and a half ounces in each one of these. We want room to be able to move it around. And I am gonna spray it with the WD-40 silicone spray. And that will release the paint from our cups. I got some pretty colors here. Still working on the wall. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever use up all the paints that we don't normally use. <laughs> uh, just a touch of white in the bottom. And we're going to use PBO, green yellow iridescent. Love this color. Okay, now this one is Grumbach or Prussian Blue that I mix equal parts um, with the Artist Loft Iridescent Medium. I want to try to get two or three layers of color, so I'm not going to go heavy. This one is the PBO Green Blue Iridescent. I didn't have a uh, turquoise color mixed up. I am. Um, I need to mix paint. <laughs> this is our Gold Rush from the Praj Passy. And then we're going to use our Dark Chocolate Shimmer. This will be our little bit of contrast against the gold. Okay. Spot of white. Green, blue, or green, yellow. The mix of Prussian blue and iridescent. Okay, the green, blue. Gold Rush. Now that you know the sequence, you can for fast forward if you want to. I hope you guys enjoyed my little series of spinning out the blooms. I had so much fun. So much fun. And I'm going to keep doing those. be in my last round here. My goal is to have a lot of color when I pour it out. Okay, and just a squirt of white. Shove. I like to squirt it down the middle. Alright guys, that's going to be it on that. I will move these out of the way. It's going to get messy. Alright, no swirling because they're already layered quite well. I did use um, white house paint on this canvas, so I cleaned it off really well, but we'll see how it goes. I'll leave just a smidge of paint in there. I love this. Did get a few lines going the opposite way. So 
So I have this little bit in here in case I need to uh, get a corner. Because I already see that white's going to be an issue. Let's see what happens. Let's pop in some air bubbles. Alright, so now we're going to shimmy. I'm going to get those paints all touching each other before we tilt. Alright, so I definitely don't like the white there, but I want to get this corner done first. Go right over that side. Now we're going to head up here. I rock my canvas to get all my paint flowing together so I can shove it right off that edge. Okay. So I had a little more brown than what I wanted. I was just hoping it would just uh, highlight a little bit. I tried not to use too much, but sometimes you can't help it. I love those colors together up here, though. Aren't they pretty? Let me wipe my hands. I work better when I know I can't drip in the painting. <laughs> No dripping. So my white is lacing out, which is good. And that will continue to move. Let's torch it. coming up in that green. I really think the iridescents don't like silicone. <clears throat> I don't think it does anything for them, to tell you the truth. Because I've never really had a ton of cells just using iridescence. But they do like to sink and create like effects. And I'll show you in a minute here. What I'm talking about. So right here, I'll show you there, and I want you to look um, also when I bring it up um, right in through here. So you see these cells there? They're like underneath those will probably pop up because the iridescent will want to sink because of the mica. But we got some really cool little cells going on. I love those turquoise cells, the blue greens coming up through the brown. That's really pretty. So this one was fun. But um, you're probably going to see me doing a lot of turquoise gray, black, white type stuff. Um, I'm getting new furniture, so I want to make some new paintings for my living room. So just giving you a heads up. I try not to do too many. <clears throat> I'm going to torture one more time. really love to see. Oh, this is cool. I'm getting a little bit more now. It will continue to pop up. But this spot right here is pretty cool. It looks like, um, like rock. It's really neat. Runoff is pretty too. Might be able to pull a tile out of that. 
So that's going to be it for that one, guys. Thanks so much for watching and supporting the channel. Thank you for all the donations. Um, I just placed an order for some canvas, so I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, we are going to be traveling a little bit since we didn't get to go on our retreat, so we did get canceled, but we already booked for next year, so I do have a couple of king rooms available if you're a member of the group. Look for that information there. Um, I'll be posting that information probably tomorrow. And check us out on Monday nights. We're live at 9 p.m. So we, uh, Alan paints with me. Does a couple, I do a couple. We answer questions, goof around. It's a good time. And um, watch for videos coming up. I uh, usually post Tuesday and Thursday at 2 p.m. And Saturdays at noon. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I love you all. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye now.